Welcome back to our presentation on writing a successful personal statement. This is the third part of this presentation, and in this section we're going to review the questions that we introduced in section two. There are four questions we suggest that every personal statement should attempt to answer in order to be comprehensive. As you may recall from section two, the first question that we suggested you try to answer in your personal statement is why you want to pursue medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, or any other health profession of your choice. When it comes to answering this question, there are two sub-questions that you need to answer in order to thoroughly be able to answer the question. The first sub-question is, how did you become interested in this profession? And the second sub-question is, what aspects of the profession do you currently enjoy? In terms of how you became interested in this profession, discuss how your upbringing, your personal experiences, and the experiences that you've had in college through volunteer work, etc., have made you interested in the field that you want to pursue. As we mentioned, you also want to talk about what aspects of the profession you currently enjoy and like. This is less of a historical account and more of a review of the characteristics or attributes of the profession that you find interesting. We recommend that you try to be as specific as you can here. Many students write in their personal statements that they want to be a doctor because they want to help other people or that they like learning about the human body. These ideas are very broad in general. It would help if you could be more specific about what it is about the medical profession that you like. And come up with a more profound and thoroughly thought out reason for what you like about the medical profession. The second question that every personal statement should attempt to answer is what characteristics make you as an applicant a good candidate for both the health professional school that you're trying to enter and for the career that you want to pursue. We encourage you to draw on your personal and professional experiences to talk about qualities and attributes that you have developed instead of just listing your positive characteristics. It's easy for anyone to write a personal statement and to list a series of attributes. I could write an essay and say, I'm very hardworking, I'm very intelligent, I'm very compassionate. But if I don't show how I've gained these skills, the qualities don't mean as much as if I were able to show how I acquired these skills through my experiences. The third question that you want to focus on is how your understanding of the health profession you are pursuing has evolved through your experiences. Here you want to discuss your exposure to medicine, whether it was earlier on in life, through your upbringing, or perhaps your family life, or later through your clinical experiences as a volunteer. Here, we emphasize that you show the admissions committee that you have a mature and realistic understanding of the profession, not an idealistic one. We frequently see students using phrases like wanting to save lives or doctor saving lives. These grandiose statements can sometimes give the false impression that you think in a very idealistic way about the profession you want to pursue, and that you don't fully understand the limits of that profession. In answering this question and referring to your understanding, it's good to use subjective statements. This is generally a good idea in the personal statement. One frequent mistake students make when they talk about dentistry or medicine or another health of profession is that they almost provide a lecture-like account of what they think a physician or dentist should be. If you look at these two sentences here, the first sentence has a very detached tone. It reads, A physician must care for his patients and demonstrate sympathy. Whereas the second is a more personal account, and it's more subjective and makes a stronger case. I have learned that as a future physician, I must care for my patients and demonstrate sympathy. The final question is your professional goals and what you hope to accomplish with your degree. For this question, it's good to talk about the type of career that you imagine yourself having after you've completed your training. It's nice to sprinkle this throughout your personal statement and talk about how the experiences you've had helped you form the vision of the career you want to go into. If you've been involved in teaching, for example, and you really enjoyed it and hope that in the future you can teach as a physician or a dentist or a pharmacist, talk about that in that context. 
Here, you don't need to get into the specifics about the specialty you want to pursue and the exact details of how you see your career. But just having a vision and showing that you have some focus and some goals for the future helps. This concludes the third part of this presentation. We will continue on the different steps to writing a personal statement in Section 4. Thank you for your attention.